So this will sound a little crazy, but I think Iron Man might be underrated as a card in Marvel Snap. And I know what you're thinking, Regis, what are you smoking? I know it's, it's 420, but what are you talking about? Iron Man is played all the time. This is like one of the most iconic cards in the game. And you're right, Iron Man is in about 12% of decks right now, according to Untapped. But they're primarily sort of sneaky combo style decks of sorts. Uh, in other words, you are doing something special with your Iron Man. So you've got like Mr. Negative decks that are flipping Iron Man into a 0-5 because of course a 0-5 Iron Man's insane. Or you've got Tribunal decks where you're stacking up these crazy big Iron Mans with like onslaughts and then distributing their power with Tribunal. You're never really just playing Iron Man as a 5-0 and calling it a day. I mean, you know, even, even there's like Spectrum decks where it's not really just about the Iron Man, it's some ongoing synergy. But I'm saying in this video that perhaps we should be playing Iron Man more often as a straight up five drop. And I came to this realization playing my red deck a couple videos ago where I was just playing a bunch of junk early using Iron Man to like lock down a location from a power standpoint, just absolutely going nuts, you know, 20, 30 power sealed up on turn five, basically putting it out of reach of the opponent minus any you know specific counters, Enchantress, etc., cetera. Uh, and then winning another location with Red Hulk, basically just like, okay, I'm just gonna slam Iron Man and then slam a monster turn six threat. And that worked more often than not. So I thought, why don't we actually just build a deck around that game plan Instead of having junk early, let's run good early tempo cards, these high statted things that can enable Iron Man really easily with just one or two cards, you know? A Maximus and a Polaris together suddenly make Iron Man a 5'11", you know? Um, a Gladiator and, a, and an Iron Lad together make Iron Man a 5'14", which is insane. And then, you know, you clean up with Red Hulk or Blob, contesting a singular location on their own. There's often too, you know, some Jeffs or Nebulas floating around, small cards to complement those six drops and just create these really difficult, just raw power stat winning sorts of lines. And this worked shockingly well for me. I went 12 and three through my first 15 games. That's an 80% win rate. So listen, I didn't know what to call this deck. Marvel Snap, you know, called it deck 14 because it's the, apparently the 14th deck in my list. So uh, that's what we're rolling with, deck 14, because what is this? I don't know, tempo deck, good cards, Iron Man, Iron Blob. I just know it worked fairly well for me and I know that it's not remotely refined because this was the first attempt I made on the list. So there's anything revolutionary about this idea. It's just running a lot of really good familiar sorts of cards but particularly using Iron Man to open those up in some different ways and create some real opportunity. Ooh, Elysium, goodness gracious, Blob and Red Hulk. I mean, I will say that, you know, sometimes this Blob gets a bit stranded if you have the Red Hulk, because he's of course one of the chunkier threats. It's kind of like, if you got Red Hulk, you expect to play Red Hulk. If you got Blob, you're kind of thinking, hey, I'm gonna play Blob. Uh, or if you don't have Red Hulk, you're thinking, hey, Blob's a backup plan, basically. But, you know, there's there's eights and sixes and tens in the deck, too, so. Oh, my God, that's an insane hit for Gladiator. Okay. This might be a negative deck. Oh, my God, dude. We absolutely crushed this Onslaught Citadel hit now, dude. This is, I mean, Iron Man here, of course, is just obscene. Um, Polaris, totally chill. That's fine. And I really thought I... I really thought I played crossbones there. Am I losing my mind? Bro, I thought I played crossbones there. I'm actually losing my mind a little bit. I, I really thought that was a crossbones that I played. I didn't want to play Gla Iron Lad. I didn't need to. I may have actually misclicked. Can we get a replay, Regis? Future Regis who's editing this video. Can I get a replay? I really meant to grab crossbones. There's just no re- Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, they don't have Wong. But they do have Zola and Noel. Noel here in particular could actually be pretty wacky. But is it wackier than Iron Man Blob? There's no way. And then just bring in Vision here? There's, it's, it's not, it's just no way it's wackier, right? There's just no way. 
blob iron man is insanity oh that's bigger though again um there's no way right like i'm not insane they can't win if they just play null wait a minute why are they snapping bro they have ravona so does null bro what are they what are they cooking dude Null is just 10, which is 20. There's no way they're expecting the Iron Man. I'm going to leave this here because it's actually hedges. This hedges and this hedges. Like, oh my God, that's more cards than I thought. Null goes left! Oh no, what's mid? Psylocke's fine. The, the Jeff the Jeff does the job. Okay. They were expecting the Iron Man. The Jeff does the job, dude. Okay. I'm telling you, dude, Iron Man, dude. Nobody expects Iron Man in a regular deck, and it's insane. It's so insane. Th this actually, this this got me, dude. <laughs> this was way cheaper than I thought. Elysium plus uh, Ravona makes all of this super cheap and scary. Um, really, it's a good thing they didn't have Wong that game, or we would have got murdered. I think. Yeah, is Monster Island the featured location? I've had this like three times in the last five games a lot red hulk showing up nebula is really good in, in monster no two drops sad that's the most common card in our deck for cost uh we can live with scorpion our, our dudes are big they're very large <laughs> um i i normally like to stack pretty hard in one spot um Monster Island in particular is really good if you get Iron Man, but so is Stark Tower, as the name might might suggest. Oh god, a lot of big hits in High Evo. That's a fine one. Okay. Crossbones. Actually kind of annoying. I, I would love to have played that here. Why couldn't it have hit Maximus? Uh so much worse. Jeez, it's so much worse. That's a big, big Iceman thing left okay so this is really the plan is just iron man into red hulk right it's a pretty simple plan i'm not a, i'm not a fancy man blob is never as big as red hulk in this particular instance do we expect a um wonder if we expect a magic to come down here oh my god they went hard okay abomination misty night and sunspot okay well the good news is this iron man it's just like, ha ha, you fool, you've wasted all of these. I mean, even a sunspot fully scaling here is still not enough. Well, let's see, let's make sure, because Cyclops actually removes four, that's 30. It actually kind of is enough. Especially if Mystia hits, because I, I go down to 30 off the Cyclops, right? Because he's kind of doing double duty. So they only need five, maybe even four with Misty Knight. And I have no mechanism to play for a top, like, I, oh. Do I win a tiebreaker like this? I'm not that, ah. Oh. But it is more likely to play here to deny Nebula, right? So we should play Red Hulk here. Yeah, but if they go for that win here, like I said, they can actually win technically. In that case, I actually have to win here to play for a tiebreaker. Oh God, I don't know. Do they just fully float six? There's no way you fully float six, right? That takes an ungodly amount of balls. No one has that many balls. I, we win if they do, so it's fine. But th that's a crazy call to make. If they don't float six, I think we're playing for a tiebreaker because I don't think they can win both left over my Red Hulk and mid. So, well, not even tiebreaker. We just win right and left, I mean. Or they try to commit fully left with like a big Hulk or Red Hulk or whatever. And then hopefully we win the tiebreaker, but... It's actually still close, but if they're playing a six, you know, Cyclops, Misty, and Sunspot don't roll. So we would be, I think, pretty favored in a tiebreaker. Tie no, we already had our one cost. How sad. All right, let Nebula left, Angela mid. Nothing fancy, classic stuff. Uh, this deck doesn't do anything too, you know, like these are all cards we see fairly often. I mean, Polaris, eh, you know, Crossbones, eh. Blob in this kind of deck, yeah, you know, like it's it's definitely got a weird mix, but nothing crazy anyway. Angela into Iron Lad, Iron Man is perfect. 
Is Iron Man the best Iron Lad result? Iron squared? It might be, right? Big card from the opponent. <gasps> blob. God, sometimes good. Don't eat like Iron Man. It ate, it ate Blob, obviously. Red Hulk already. Okay. Shoot. Uh. Oh, Iron Man later is nice. Okay. Well, left might just be gone. I mean, technically we have our own Red Hulk, but not there yet. I guess that's guaranteed to be drawn actually as well. Three cards left, I'm drawing on four, five, and six. I mean, I feel very good mid until we see like a strong chi or something. This appears to be a discard deck. Could have Hella, could have Ghost Rider. There's the Iron Man. He pretty much carries right by himself. So we can put Maximus and Iron Man there. And then they've got some crazy work to do mid, you know, minus, I guess, like we said, Shang-Chi. Dracula left, what? Now that surprises me. I'll be honest with you, Dracula left is strange to me. It just seems like you're supporting somewhere that's already so strong. Maybe they're planning hella shenanigans? I, I don't know. Ghost Rider shenanigans. There's a few different sorts of shenanigans, but I mean, this Iron Man alone pushes Onslaught Citadel to 24. And then uh, if we add Jeff, it gets even bigger. I mean, we could decide where to put a Red Hulk, I guess. We could maybe put Vision mid to hedge against like Shang-Chi. Oh, they lost the Hella. Ouch. I think that was their only hope, really. Uh, I, I think this is fine. Even Shang-Chi here is only eight. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> I mean, it's just a lot of power. Onslaught Citadel, sort of already, you know, I think, I think, you know, normally this game we would have played Iron Man mid and then just Hulk Maximus Jeff right and still would have won. But, but Onslaught Citadel just trivializes everything. Ooh, beautiful opener. Okay. Bye, Frost. Uh, all right. People don't want to play right because it gets stacked up too much, right? That's going to be my theory anyway. Hotel Inferno, sure, let's see what they're cooking with. Are they cooking with gas? Let me guess, it's gonna be something annihilus -y. Oh, no. <laughs> no! It's not that thing, and it is a very cool thing as well. Um, okay, yeah, we're just kinda building out an Iron Man lane here and then gonna use Blob or Red Hulk, right? That's the plan. Iron Lad into Shang-Chi gone, but that does mean there's another Shang-Chi, which means, uh, like, you know, Crossbones is a little shaky. We'd rather have, like, Iron Lad in this case. Um, maybe we just go Polaris Iron Man then. Um, I don't know how we're winning that final spot, though. We need one of these two big boys, right? Uh, oh no, dude, no! I, oh, I can't, now Jeff is stuck right. I can't play Iron Man. Shoot! What an insane play that is, honestly. That's honestly kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, shoot, dude. Now I kind of need, like, Iron Lad Maximus or something. I mean, we're still up eight, so they have to commit some stuff. Honestly, in a surfer deck without surfer, eight's maybe not trivial. Sounds kind of hard. Negasonic, huh? Well, screw you, man. That's rude. Okay, <laughs> dude, hear me out, right? <laughs> hear me out, right? I do so bad, dude. Hear me out. They never ever play mid because they're worried about the Iron Man. So, uh, oh, I think they just won the tiebreaker though. Sadly, that Odin's pretty clutch. Uh, we're only up by four, and they're gonna be. Wait, is it a tie? No way. <laughs> So stupid, dude. Honestly, good for them. They kind of bailed themselves out of a 
terrible spot. I'm not even mad. Red Guardian did some work that game. All right, Iron Man in hand, but no early game. Man, total first, the whole top row missing. Uh, Red Hulk, scary. Iron Man can't really contest left. Space thrown, dude. This is gonna be Red Hulk off, but I'm missing my curve. Oh my God, I'm missing my curve. This is brutal. Uh, I mean, Gladiator, Iron Lad, Iron Man's not bad, but the question is that, that Hulk. How do I catch up on the Hulk? I mean, I will fill kind of the mid turns there. So that's nice. They're one Hulk ahead. This might be a chance. Oh, Iron Man's insane in need of a Leer too. It's really nice. I'd rather play Crossbones and Iron Lad because we're going to be super exposed to Shang-Chi anyway. So it's like, why? Because like Gladiator, Shang-Chi, Iron Lad, Shang-Chi, Crossbones, still Shang-Chi, you know? It's all risky, so why mess with it? Hope deleted? That's that's chill, yeah. We like that. Not giving them freebies, that's good. Yeah, I don't see Iron Man losing um, right. So then it's just like a Red Hulk off. <laughs> who's, who's Red Hulk wins, you know? Jeff is interesting. Jeff can go into Space Throne even if it's occupied. Um, I could try to Iron Lad a Blob, but there's just no stats left in the deck. Oh, so our Hulk is now matching. If they whiff on curve again here, I can play Hulk safely mid, I guess. Although Jeff, no, no. Yeah, if, if I'm ahead, Jeff does not make up the difference on the Hulk, right? So, um, I, I mean, Iron Man technically could lose to a Hulk here. Probably. He's, he's only adding, what, 28, 33 power or something. Vision, yeah, Vision's just not really the stats, but they did hit their curve. So, they can't move the Jeff left, because it'll go to zero, but they could move Vision left and go Hulk here. Vision plus Hulk, and then go like Jeff here. So it's like, do they put Hulk here and Vision here, or, and then Jeff to cover here? If so, then we should play this here, right? There is a totally different angle, which is like cover both of these, but that also loses to Vision Hulk. Ah, uh, this is a tough call, man. It's like a 50-50, really. I think this is technically better because Jeff can't go here, but the Vision still exposes you a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, whoa, didn't expect that. Hold up. Uh, do we have tiebreakers here? Is this Hulk? Wait, that can't be Hulk. Oh, strong Chi, bro. That's really sad. That's really sad. Like we said, we're exposed to Shang-Chi. Uh, bro, <laughs> this was too close, man. Actually still kind of close, like 15 to 25. Okay, Nebula, yeah, we got a uh, free scar. Pretty great with crossbones. May not really make sense from a line standpoint though. X Mansion, we missed a two. That's the one drop I don't expect to miss in the stack, man. Brutal. Uh, Iron Lad hitting Blob could also open up a pretty sick uh, scar as well. Maximus. Eh, uh, okay. I would really love to be ahead of next mansion so that I can pull a crossbones. Just, just give me the infinite. Give the opponent the, the uh, what's the worst possible card you can get in X Mansion? Uh, Ebony Maw, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Three's not really a problem. We have a place to play crossbones, importantly, so let's see a Doctor Doom. Black Swan versus Hit Monkey. Ugh. Don't love Hit Monkey. Importantly, though, we hit the crossbones, which gives me Iron Man into Red Hulk as a winning line, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna go and play the Iron Man left because that rock is gonna be incoming and may move left. And the goal, as always with this Iron Man, is just be ahead enough that there's just nothing they can do about it, you know? Maybe an Enchantress or something, who knows, but... <sighs> we will have a consideration about Blob versus Red Hulk, depending on our draw. Like, if we draw Angela... and Jeff... It's actually Blob is 21 points guaranteed. <laughs> so that could be cool. 
Wow! That's so sick! I'm really not even mad though, to be honest. Um. So this changes everything, right? I mean, I guess we know the rocks move first. We just say we're throwing mid and then just, we, we trust left is plenty big enough. I guess left is pretty exposed to Shang-Chi though. Well, not really, they only get to five. No, never mind. So you just go like Iron Man Red Hulk or something? That would also be kind of exposed to, to, to Shang-Chi. You could maybe just go Vision because you feel safer. It's sort of weird here to just throw away mid because I could do, you know, like Scar or whatever. But it has the same problem. There's also Vision too that gives you a lot of flexibility. Maybe that's really the play. Just because then you can move back, back right if you need to. And I mean, like, vision is still enough to make mid a, a threat to them. Like, they have to figure out, they have to put some power here. If they do, then they can't put power elsewhere. Rocks lock them out left, I guess, if they don't commit to a Shang-Chi now. So this Strange Academy rock plan is going to backfire on them, potentially. They might have something like Patriot? Daredevil Grandmaster, I have no idea. I mean, Hazmat, I guess, a possibility, too. You know, there's a lot of different things. Hopefully we just outnumber that, though. Uh, Blob is not bigger than Red Hulk anymore. By the way, we drew an eight. But I was really thinking about this a lot. <laughs> they have Daredevil. I like that Vision creates a ton of friction on this Daredevil. They're like, dude, the whole point was I was supposed to know what you were doing. And now with Vision, I have no idea what you're doing. Because if they commit something too small mid, I can just plop in a Red Hulk or whatever, you know, move Vision right, plop in a Red Hulk. If they commit something big, uh, it's a whole, whole di totally different thing. Okay, so this just reads Annihilus. Which means I just move vision right and play the Red Hulk mid. And then we're fine. This doesn't hurt us. It can't hurt us. I don't think there's anything that beats me here. Uh, so they should retreat. They should just, uh, they, they know that it's a solved game state basically. Okay, Strange Academy added some really interesting wrinkles with the debris. I wonder if they regret playing debris so hard with the Grandmaster and stuff. All right, uh, cheap Red Hulk's pretty fun. Dude, I am like really sick of playing uh, the Hood and Sentry and Red Hulk in every deck. All we've had today, man. Every single game is the same decks. Uh, I find it intriguing too, like my position in infinite, you know, not a particularly highly competitive infinite rank or anything. I'm always a little surprised that um, people play kind of try hard decks so much, so often. Um, you know, like good, good decks instead of just weird wacky stuff. All right, a lot of tempo here too, though. Just a ton of, ton of pressure. All right, this is an easy Iron Man. Let's go. Crossbones, dude. That's mine. Oh, it's actually legit Iron Man. I can't, I, I'm actually too good. I'm actually too good at the game. <laughs> so hopefully we draw Angela or ne Nebula to keep Blob at 18. That'd be a sick Blob. Uh, this is basically overkill. We don't need Jeff. Obviously, I mean, minus, you know, an Enchantress or whatever. Yeah, we're deleting the hood. That's nice. Um, oh, nice. We did draw a Nebula. Cool. So Blob is actually insane. I mean, do we flip mid? They're never going to expect it, right? They never support mid, right? I mean, I, I, I mean, I almost certainly also just have enough to always win right. I don't know how we'd ever lose right either. Like we don't have to get fancy because Red Hulk's not big enough. Oh God. They did actually support mid a little bit. <laughs> I'm curious where the power's at here. Oh, it's just a rock. Oh my God, I just realized we didn't draw a single rock in Subterranea. 
Oh, I forgot the cr oh my god. Oh, bro, I forgot the crossbones was gone. Oh my god. I saw it in the deck tracker because it doesn't update. I literally talked about how that's my crossbones and then I forgot. Oh my god, dude. Okay, Nebula. Yeah, we probably don't. Well, I don't know, man. Necrotia is actually kind of an interesting spot for you, isn't it? Opponent doesn't really want to play small cards there in particular, so they may feel annoyed by that. And, you know, you'll scale it out eventually anyway. Oh, yeah. They definitely don't want to play Stones and Necrotia. Dude, I have not played Thanos since since the Thanos nerf where he's in hand and stuff. Whoa, Scar is kind of great for us, potentially. We have Crossbones. We need to be able to play him, though. We might need to do... Oh, man. It's annoying. Oh, my God. Imagine second Scar. Can I do cool stuff with that? Red Hulk? Spooky, though. Mm, I really want to be able to play Crossbones on... Turn four. Which means... I think we play Polaris here because they're going to play here to deny Nebula. Dude, if that turns into Miniaturized Lab, this game's gonna get real wacky real fast. Oh, Power Stone's a tie. Dang it, dude. There, oh my God. That's great for us in some ways, but terrifying in others. Um, so this now becomes an Angela... I mean, I guess it's still Iron Man. We know all oh, vision's really good for them because they get the flexibility to play that and the um, the Red Hulk. <sighs> this is an interesting dilemma. Right, this is interesting. So I, if I'm them, I move vision left, right? And then I play Red Hulk either right or mid. <laughs> You're a little scared to play it mid though, because if I play any card mid, I guess my question is, can we high roll this blob? We can get 20 on the blob. If the Hulk goes here and Vision goes here, we win. But we got to hit Hulk into Jeff into Maximus, which is so hard to do. If I could play any two increments of cards, I would probably just play a card here and here to cover the vision. Oh, oh, they went the other way. We're totally fine. We're totally fine if they go the other way. We got 17, so we would have lost if they went the way I thought. Oh, now see, I, I like the other way better. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe it's mind games. Maybe they think, oh, he, he, he's gonna like the other way better, so I'll go this way. I like the other way better because you don't need to beat Nebula by 15, right? You need to flip that location to create that that kind of pressure point, right? You gotta create that, that, that challenge for me to overcome. You don't need 15 to do that. You need three, you know, whatever, four. Okay, no twos or ones, sadly. Bar Sinister. Hey, oh, Spider Man, fist bump. Oh my god, dude, this is the worst. There's a cool thing with Great Web where you can kind of actually play to Bar Sinister early and, like, maybe not be mad about it. Oh, Asteroid M as well. Um, <laughs> I mean, Vision's also so insane in Bar Sinister that I kind of maybe don't want to mess with it. You know what I mean? Like, just do vision and iron man stuff and you're probably gonna win so i don't know if i need to get fancy basically this is funny this, this is just gonna bounce around that's nebula bro it's gonna bounce around everywhere eh? yeah kind of a shame polaris didn't get pulled back i'd be i'd be playing crossbones instead here i mean like i said i think i think vision giving us double bar sinister is gonna seal this game there is maybe some risk that I don't have the follow-up, but I think like even Iron Man is an insane follow-up. Magic in this game too, okay. We sort of know my blob is garbage. Uh, oh no, that's garbage too. I actually need my Red Hulk. I need to draw Red Hulk, oh God. 
No, nah, dude, that spider ham is killing me. Any other card would have been fine, I think. Uh, so the visions are still insane. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh, do I have Red Hulk? Because if I don't have Red Hulk, how do I win Bar Sinister? I guess Crossbones is actually a pretty decent way to win Bar Sinister as well. That's not a bad idea, because we should maybe have priority, although they... I was going to say they don't normally play to this early, but they played to it early, so... Oh, interesting. So Red Hulk wins this for free. And I dodged a big... If I get a Red Hulk, I just win this for free. If I don't get a Red Hulk, I got to win elsewhere. I don't know. Uh, that's not a Red Hulk. Shoot. Shoot. And I can't play Crossbones there anymore. I mean, I can get a bunch of Jeffs, but to what end, right? It doesn't really do anything. Uh... This still allows me to move the four visions around, and then I, I guess it's... I, if they have my Red Hulk, how do I win? I, I don't know. Are they going to turn off Limbo in any way? They're snapping, which makes me very suspicious. Angela, that's my Angela. Oh, that's my Red Hulk, which is actually maybe okay. I don't know. Can I win right now? With only Vision and Crossbones? I mean, there's no choice, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, yes. I mean, we're up by eight and we're adding eight. We are a little bit susceptible to strong chi, I guess, right? Like a little bit, but maybe not crazy. We got 16, 21 anyway. Isn't strong chi only 18? I feel like we're not actually that susceptible to strong chi. Play these for tiebreakers. Oh, strong chi left. Same story. We're not that susceptible to strong chi. It's just not very big. That's not very big either. Yeah, nice. The vision here absolutely clutched this game. We would be screwed with that vision, dude. Because Iron Man, like we had such an insane play with like, you know, basically like two visions here and two Iron Man here is just like crazy numbers, you know, 64 or something. Or maybe one vision and three Iron Man, I guess, is, is basically the same difference. Okay, oh, Elysium, scary. All right. I don't know if I benefit as much from Elysium as other people do, but we'll see how it goes. Probably just build a strong lane here for crossbones. See you, Spider-Man. Angela in theory is still pretty cool. We can uh, we can try, see if they play to it or not. Crossbones is like, eh, he's hurt me a few times today, like being situational. I, you don't need, you don't, it doesn't have to be crossbones, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if he's worth a cut. Him and Polaris are the two, well, really him, Polaris, and Maximus all kind of feel like, well, it could be whatever, you know. They don't, see here, we're missing again on, on priority. They all feel kind of like, man, whatever. It could be any of those. Did I miss a whole turn here, man, for crossbones? No, Iron Lad saves me, thank God. I don't know what you put in that slot. Another good four. I think you do want to maintain the curve, so I would definitely be looking at four. But whatever your your four drop of choice might be. Nebula is a fine hit for Iron Land. Yeah, that's an occasional bonus for sure. So this is one where we don't have Iron Man and we don't have a six. So it's a little bit hard to predict where we want to kind of stack and how it wants to go. And Elysium 2 changes the kind of pace of the game a little bit as well. So right now I'm thinking, you know, like we, we move Vision out probably next turn and put in the crossbones instead. That lane feels pretty secure, you know, it's not 100% ever, but it, it feels like it's in a pretty good spot. And then you maybe have like a Vision Iron Man lane kind of thing going on. Um, Alternatively, um, there's there's Red Hulk. Yeah, let's do that instead. It's I'm like a little overcommitted, weirdly, because I don't really need. Like, they're not they're not they're not there's not that much power there. I, I might need to spread some power out here a little bit. Are they only Professor X mid. What is this? <sighs> oh no, just building a Hope Elsa lane or something. Oh, Craven. I see. Okay. 
buffing up that craven a little bit red hulk connects though which is huge he is just freaking enormous. so vision um vision mid suddenly looking a little wacky Blob's 11 crossbones is 10. well i mean that makes the math pretty simple to me i don't know this plays around shang chi nah maybe probably Probably plays around Shang-Chi, but Vision left plus Shang-Chi is kind of scary. Imagine how insane Blob would be if he ate abilities as well. Like, imagine if he just got Iron Man's ongoing effect. Oh my god, dude. Uh, opponent's cooking on this. I mean, they can play a lot of cards is the thing. Oh, this is smart. They just went at the Red Hulk. I like this. This is pretty cool. Especially if it's like Shang-Chi in there, too. Kitty Pride plus what? Let's see. Elsa, Kitty, and Shang-Chi. Oh, Miles! Oh my god! They didn't account for the uh, Vision plus Red Hulk pop-off, though. Okay. It's a big turn, man. I like, I like the line, just the math. Doesn't cover Vision, I guess. 